Hi, everyone, and a very good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us today. I hope your Tuesday is going well so far. My name is Sandy Elson, and on behalf of the Travel Professional Community and TravelProfessionalNews.com, I want to welcome all of you to this really interesting and informative webinar. Today's webinar is being hosted by Cruise Planners. We want to thank Cruise Planners so much for hosting the webinar today and for their support. Our speaker for Cruise Planners is Vicki Garcia, Chief Operating Officer and co-owner of Cruise Planners. Among the most respected women in travel, Vicki learned the industry from the ground up from her beginnings as a reservation sales agent at Royal Caribbean International to today, co-owner and Chief Operating Officer at Cruise Planners, an American Express travel representative. Vicki oversees the overall strategic and operational responsibility for all business development and marketing programs, including third partner third-party partnerships that have become an extension of the company's in-house offerings for cruise planners, franchise owners. Her vision has won the company numerous marketing awards year after year, including Travel Weekly's Magellan Awards and AFF Addy Awards. Vicki's topic today is Skyrocket Your Commissions. Learn all about cruise planners. Before we get started, please remember that you are all muted, but we welcome your questions. You can type in your questions at any time in the question area you see on the right-hand panel of your screen. At the end of Vicki's presentation, we'll get to as many questions as we can. Also at the end of the presentation, Vicki will be giving away a $50 American Express gift card, so stick around for your chance to win. And here's a little hint, you may want to take notes. So I'm going to turn the microphone over to Vicki now so she can get started. Welcome, Vicki. Thank you so much, Sandy. Thanks for having us and Cruise Planners on board. So today we're going to talk about skyrocketing your commissions and we're going to go through some just some key trends and what we're noticing out there in terms of best practices and marketing uh, in terms of trends, etc. We're going to talk about the right customers and the right message to them really at the right time. You know, what do you offer that, that your competitor can't and how is your host helping you? How do you stay in the know of what's happening out there? Um, and are you part of a family that supports you? So these are some key elements we want to talk about because we've noticed some key things that um, help our agents grow their businesses. So we want to talk, start off by talking about marketing best practices and trends to really ignite higher commissions. I think at the end of the day, that's what we all want um, is to make more money, and whether that be on the same sale or on incremental sales, et cetera. This is an interesting slide, and, and I'd love to talk about this, the progression of a sale. And when you look at the progression of a sale, there's a lot of different points that are missed opportunities for most people. So looking at what makes a prospect become a customer, you know, what are you using to, to make that happen for you? Um, and look at the slide here, it tells you, it takes seven touch points to make a sale. When you look at where the prospect starts with the first contact, 43% of salespeople have given up by that time. If they answer their email or whatever, they're just not even gonna do it. By contact number two, 68% have given up. Contact number three, 80%. I'll never make that third contact with somebody. It drives us nuts, especially when you look at the cost of customer acquisition. Con contact number four, to me, is such an eye-opener. It's for the low-hanging fruit. It's right there. That's where most people have given up before that. And now, if you're the one that makes that contact, you're probably going to get that customer. And then you look at the others. Number five, you're really getting to know their needs because you've talked to them several times. Maybe they've told you different things about their life as to why they haven't bought yet. But if you if you harvest that information and say, gosh, it's because they got married and the wedding got delayed because of a tornado in their area or whatever, you start knowing more about that prospect and you create a relationship with them. You see contact number six, you're probably the only one who's calling them at that point. Everyone else totally just fell off. Contact number seven, again, you know so much about them already that hopefully you will know that, gosh, when you get that perfect product or offer or whatever you know that trigger point is, you got the right combination for that person whether it be timing or whether it be right product. Maybe they've always wanted to go to a certain destination because you've talked to them so many times, you're not always trying to sell them, but you're contacting them. And then hopefully the end result is that you get that customer. So again, we look at it and what we do on our end for our agents is we provide multiple touch points, sometimes seven to 10 touch points within a marketing campaign, whether it be direct mail, email, et cetera, sending them all different types of information. It's important to, to stay in contact with your customer. When we look at a marketing campaign, just some of the things we do for our agents, it's not just the direct mail piece. When there's direct mail, we don't only just send a piece of mail out there. 
we're going to look at when our agents enter an address into our database, it's going to verify if that address is a real address with the United States Postal Service. It's also then going to use our Smart Select program to select the right customer for that campaign based on their previous buying um, habits from us. Right? Then we're going to create an email that matches that same campaign. So if they're receiving mail and they're on the email list as well, the same campaign, so that message is not lost, you're not confusing your customer, it's the same campaign. At the same time when they click on it, if they go to a website, one of their websites, it's going to go to the same banner that matches that campaign, or the email is going to go to a landing page that uh, talks about that campaign. Still on the same campaign, whether it be a great offer, et cetera, we're going to also, sorry, my arrow went off here, we're going to also look at our mobile app to send out a push notification. Um, so again, the same message is there, and we create a, a toolbox that provides our agents call scripts that match that campaign or print-on-demand flyers that they can print and go to a show um, or to their doctor's office or to a jury room, et cetera. Um, postcards, if they want to do their own mailing, let's say that they worked a um, consumer show and they got a list from that and they want to do a postcard, custom design postcard and mail to them, they can upload a list and it mails within 48 hours and I won't bore you on too many details on that. Or if they want to create their own email campaign, we provide a super easy um, uh, toolbox to create an email um, offer, if you want to add an offer, or just, I was thinking about you with this offer type of thing, call me for more information. So again, all the pieces of that. And then the last component, or part of a huge part of it, but more recent, is to make sure that there's a social element to that. And I know this looks like a lot, and I, when we designed this slide, we're like, oh God, that looks so complicated. But the beauty of it is, is that we do all of that heavy lifting for our agents. So we create all of this, they just got to worry about answering the phone, um, picking the people they want to receive the mailer if in addition to the ones that we've already identified. So we're even identifying the customers in their database that it would be a perfect match for. So CP Social is our program that we actually create uh, Facebook, Twitter uh, posts for them and post automatically and they can choose to opt out and or add obviously incremental posts to them. And we provide them with benchmarks and analytics as well. So even just being a home-based agent, all of this marketing is happening on our agent's behalf. When we look at multiple marketing touch points, if you're not talking to your customer, I'm telling you right now, someone else is. I just had to deal with a product problem with a supplier with one of my agents. That the supplier's, you know, uh, direct marketing, direct sales team keeps contacting them, saying, "I'm your, you know, travel planner," and and it's it's a consu it's a sorry, it's a supplier. So I can't blame them. They want that sale back on their product. But if you're talking to your customer and you're keeping in touch with them, it's okay when they get that call. You just get to get that offer as well. So, but if you're not talking to them and that other person from the supplier calls your customer, they might book with them thinking, I haven't heard from you in a while. You know, stay top of mind. Use things that uh, you have multiple touch points with them. You know, as part of your overall marketing mix, you should be looking at different elements that you can actually provide as touch points. Again, we do it for our agents, but we're just telling all of you out there, if you're not part of our network, is definitely look at a network that helps you connect with your clients better. The more engaged you are with your customer, the more they're engaged with you, and the longer they'll stay with you. Right? <clears throat> you know, don't leave money on the table. This is an interesting statistic here. Is most boomers, you'll see here, 99% will take at least one leisure trip this year. Don't you want it to be with you? And you see here, with an average of five or more trips expected throughout the year. So they're traveling, make sure they're traveling with you. Bucket list trips. I was just speaking to Sandy before uh, we got on the call live. I just returned from the Galapagos on Saturday, Sunday morning. Um, I'm still recuperating from that. Um, but as it says here, for boomers, bucket list trips are the most popular motivation for international trip. Domestic trips are a combination of summer, multi-gen trips. I had a family, two families that traveled together on board a 48 passenger uh, ship with me. We were 24 people, they were 11, two families. And they were their kids were seven kids they ranged in age from 17 to 24. And these kids had a phenomenal time doing the Galapagos on a small ship. So you gotta find the right market for the right people. Um, but again, those people, the boomers, want to spend time with their grandkids and you know nieces and nephews, et cetera. So it's a great market for you. Social media, I talked about it already. If you're not using it to your advantage, you're so missing out on an opportunity. It's a great way for you to share your story. I mean, uh, Joni was on the call before and she's like, oh my God, you just came back from a great trip. She saw all of my posts on Facebook. Your clients will see that. 
we had so many of our agents on board that posted their pictures and said, I can also send you here. Ask, let me know if you have any questions. And people saw them as experts now and we're getting bookings for it. We were on a river cruise a, a few weeks ago and we had agents doing live videos from on deck saying, here I am in the middle of the Danube River. Look at over here, the castles and da da da. What you can do, I can book you here. Let me know if you have any questions. So social media is such an integral part of your marketing mix that I encourage you, if you're not doing it already, you really need to look into it. Again, we do a lot of it for our agents, but we still encourage them to do a lot of the personalization. So within our program, we will post for them two to three times per week, but we encourage them definitely to, pers to post more personal stuff, their own photos traveling, and it really, really works to catapult their business. You know, when you look at posts for social media, make sure you're doing it during the planning or idea phases. As you see here, you know, for all the trips that are anticipated for this year, 85% have yet to be booked. So boomers are still in their planning or idea phases. And this is as of November of this past year, so they were still planning for this year. So obviously that, that number's gone down a bit. I just couldn't find more current statistics. But people are still booking their vacations and trips for this year. And boomers especially because they want to create experiences most likely for their families and or for themselves. Um, but it's, it's a great time to start looking at when are they planning. And we always tell people, just as another little tip as part of the, the agenda here, is look into your database. People that booked around this time with you last year, have they booked yet for this year? If they haven't yet, strike now and present it to them. And if they've talked to you before about the Galapagos or about a river cruise or about Alaska, reach out to them and say, hey, I've been thinking about you. know, Last year you guys went to da-da-da. What are you looking at for this year? So I'll tell you right now, they, there's usually trends when people start planning their vacations, and maybe they're not talking to you because maybe somebody else got them and they're talking to them. So talk to your customers so that you know where they're at, and again, look to see where they've when they booked last year and if they're booked already for this year. How are we capitalizing on some of these trends? I've shared a few, but we want to make sure that we are high touch. You know, high tech is all great and swell. I know I mentioned some of the stuff we do for people, but we also may want to make sure that it's high touch as well. And we created a trigger campaign, which I'll show you in a couple minutes here. Um, we looked at marketing trends and how we're doing in our marketing programs. How are different channels working? Like, in other words, are we talking, we, we're talking chat, we're doing focuses on luxury, because the luxury client doesn't necessarily want to see a non-luxury um, product being presented to them. It kind of could turn them off or think that you don't focus on a luxury uh, product. And then let's talk about social media. When we do direct mail campaigns at Cruise Planners, for example, we want to make sure that it's, it's definitely different, that it's going to catch the eye of the person reading it, and that the content is, is focused on certain peoples and certain kinds of travel types. So we have campaigns that are bucket list campaigns. So those are going to feature you know, bucket list destinations and or products. Family market, and make sure we're, we're, we're marketing that to families. Home ports, people that want to stay close to home, obviously river cruises. And some of these mailings are smaller or larger depending on the demographic um, category, right? Uh, land or tour focus. Some people don't want to just receive cruise pieces. And yes, cruise finder sells more than just cruises. Um, if someone's after the premium market or you know, in October, we do a big thing about plan a cruise month and partner with CLIA. So we look at a bunch of different campaigns throughout the year. And again, our agents have to do nothing other than review the list if they want to or we're going to pick the best people for them and say, here's your best list in your database that matches this luxury mailer. If you want to buy more pieces, if opt in to do more pieces or whatever you can, if you want to just take the ones that you earned as part of your free credit, because everyone earns free mailings, um, you can. So it's a great way to get your name out there with it being a pretty much set it and forget it type of program. Here are some samples of mailings. For example, um, this is one that we did with the premium market. Uh, again, I don't know if you've noticed something here, but on the cover of our uh, all of our direct mail, we try not to put a cruise ship or just a you know toes in the sand type of thing. We like to try to get their attention to have them open it. And if we can get someone to open a piece, we feel like we've combated 70% of the battle. Now, obviously, reading it and then buying is obviously more to that. So again, this one had a more high-end feel to it. It was a Magellan uh, winner. I know that Sandy mentioned we win some Magellan Awards. A lot of it's for our marketing programs and technology and training. Here's another sample. And again, this one was almost like a, come on, dare, I dare you to open it. It was called Unleash Your Travel Instinct. So it was really, we got so many comments from, from the, about this piece about, wow, I didn't know what it even was, so it made me open it. 
Uh, you can't tell the quality of the paper there because it's on screen, but it was a phenomenal piece with a, I'm gonna get too technical here on paper, but a spot varnish on the black, so it really had a shiny appeal to it, uh, super upscale. So we try to just shake it up to get people to open your mailings, our agent's mailings. Again, this one, because a little more a high-end feel, we focus on uh, premium products like Oceana, Azamara, et cetera. We wanna make sure that our agents are saying, and this is important for all of you too, in front of your customers with a consistent message, so they don't forget about you, professional branding. So we do all of that work for them. Again, in this case, you can see this is a direct mail example. This is obviously looks small, but it's an email, so it's, it scrolls down. The same look and feel on the Facebook page post as it is on their website landing page or, uh, or on their landing page. So the website main page or the landing page. Again, that same campaign, whenever that booking window was, that look and feel to that offer was everywhere on behalf of our agents to their customers. We put out a bi-annual magazine, so twice a year we do a magazine that, again, is personalized with the agent's information. If you look on the bottom of that, when it says name, last name, obviously for example, the phone number, et cetera, they get to personalize it however they want. We do it two times a year, summer and winter. We try to be whimsy with some cases or super high-end, so it really depends on what we're featuring for that market for that time. Again, it's twice a year. It's uh, 32 pages, full color. It's uh, personalized on the cover, inside front cover, inside back cover, and back. And truly are, again, Magellan uh, winning marketing. Earlier this year, we launched a luxury uh, e-newsletter, which again went to luxury opt-in customers um, because we heard loud and clear these, this, this market likes to be marketed to with their like products. It runs bi-weekly. Um, we know that Thursdays are good open days for this. We've, just, we've tested a couple different days. We've done some A-B testing with different looks and feels. So we've really fine-tuned what we're sending and getting phenomenal open rates, uh, anywhere between 30 and 45% open rates, which is crazy for email. Um, but it talks to them. If you notice, it's not focused on price. It's more about experience. And again, we're gonna, we continue to test because performance you know, can, can change. But our agents don't have to worry about this. We're doing that on the back end on their behalf. So we're super excited about this program and so are our agents and we're getting a, a huge uptake on um, opting in for this. All of our agents have personalized websites and what that pretty much means is as you see here, it has, they can customize about themselves or they can put as many social media um, attributes or tools that they use. Uh, in this case, Michael uses one, two, three, four, five, which is email, you know, chat, whatever. So, but if he did also Instagram, and uh, this, I've seen this list be super long. It depends on how engaged you are with social media and how much how much connectivity you want. But the, the sky is the limit. But something to point out on our websites as well is it's your own URL. So if you come to Cruise Planners, you're not just a page on our site. It's not cruiseplanners.com slash Tony Bello. It's whatever domain name you choose. Like in this case, Michael has planmycruise.com. That's his, he owns it, it's his domain. Uh, people go to him if he markets that. If he ever chose to leave us, that domain is his and he can take it with him. That's a huge point and huge uh, strength to you. We don't wanna take anyone's business, we want people to be happy here. Um, we, wanna make, we wanna make tools that make you wanna stay here forever. Um, the websites have live booking, if you want it, if you don't want it, you don't have to. Live chat, again, if you don't like live chat, um, you don't have to do it. I'll show you a little bit more on live chat in a little bit. Um, there's a My Trips portal, which is a consumer portal for your customers to go to it and say, hey, I want to book an excursion for this cruise. And they can go right on there from the, your portal, add an excursion, or keep a copy of their insurance policy there, or upload to their vault a copy of their passport. Um, super important for clients to have access to that stuff. I unfortunately was uh, a witness last week to a um, another ship that had a, an accident of, what, of sorts and people lost their passports. Had they uploaded them, they would have had an easy access to their passport right then and there. Um, they weren't our customers, they weren't even on our ship. We got to rescue them, but most of the passengers other than two didn't have their passports with them. So nice little feature for you to offer for your customers. Um, our in-house marketing department, much more than just customizable ads, but just to give you an idea, we have a, a, a library of hundreds of sample ads and or we'll create custom ads. If someone needs an ad on the back of a shirt, we create it for them. So again, a lot of access to you know, professional um, designers 
that have created some pretty phenomenal things up to and including car wraps, custom designed. So almost uh, sky's the limit in terms of what we do and all of it is done in house, we don't farm that out. And we know it's working. We're seeing things, um, and I'll show you some testimonials in a second. Our marketing is working for our agents and here's a couple of them. Um, true posts on Facebook, home office marketing as best, I met a client for breakfast and they actually brought this last mailer that they had tabbed with the adventures that they wanted to go on. Um, again, other comments on there. Uh, I wanted to comment on topics that we discussed earlier. Our CP direct mail in the magazine this week, I had three calls resulting in bookings of at least $8,000 That's direct result. So it's never a magical, this one mailing is the magic one. It's the repetition of being in front of your customer with a professional piece with consistency. Um, that's the magic to it. So uh, I love this comment down here by Star. My one client got the magazine and invited me over to see his trip pictures and introduced me to two of his neighbors. They're making introductions for them. Shout out to Home Office Marketing. Love the from the shining C, from C to shining C piece that went out to my clients. This one's gonna be another prize winner. So we're getting great feedback and we're seeing the sales. You know, it's not it's all great ego stuff to get compliments, but to me, the proof is in the pudding. And we can't release financial numbers here, but we are definitely seeing huge spikes um, into the high double digits. Whenever one of our campaigns drops, the sales are happening for those suppliers that are in that piece. Another thing we, we talk about is making sure that we're getting the right customer, giving them the right message. And you know, I've been talking about it for years, and now we've kind of had some tools on it, which we'll go through in a minute. But the most important thing, it's all great to send that perfect luxury customer a luxury piece, but if it's at the wrong time, you may have just wasted a piece. Same thing, if you send the wrong piece to the wrong customer, same thing happens. So it's really important to send the right message to the right person at the right time. <clears throat> and hopefully that's when you know you get the booking, right? You made the booking, but what happens now? You get the booking right now, let's say, and your customer doesn't sail for another year. Sometimes there's not a whole lot to talk to them about in that time frame. Well, we realized that that was a little bit of an awkward thing, like what do you call them about other than to try to sell them stuff, and maybe that doesn't come across right. But we actually created up to 10 touch points after the booking. So I say up to 10 because if the booking is six months from sailing, we won't do 10 touch points because we want to do overkill. So if it's a year out or more, longer than nine or 10 months, we're going to have up to 10 touch points that touch that client about that booking, right? And it connects them back to that, to that agent. Let me just show you them. The screen's going to be a little bit overwhelming. So we'll do a touch point that says, thank you so much for booking. And it's some customizable content on there if the agent wants, uh, but it's automatically done right after the booking. And it says, hey, download my app, which I'll talk about in a minute. Access your trip details on my trips, and you can look at your itinerary, destination information, what the weather's like in the ports of call at that time of year. If they haven't booked a pre or post day, it'll have a extend your stay button that they can do a pre or post. If they haven't bought insurance, it'll say, hey, you need to purchase insurance, and it links right there. If they have done these two things, it won't show that. Again, prepare your passport. This way, if they say, you never told me that my passport will be valid for six months after, you've been telling them throughout this process, which I'll show you. Then we have some just little useful things like a travel checklist, et cetera. A few weeks later, depending on how long you are from the sailing, um, we have a touching base. Hey, just touching base. Look what I pulled up, some ship details about your ship. They might want to look around and go, oh, it's close to the dining room. Or, oh, you know, my friend, da 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 da. So conversations kind of go. Again, prepare your passport, stay and play. Again, we're, if they haven't booked a hotel, we kind of remind them again, like, hey, you may want to stay a couple days extra or come in early to not miss any part of your cruise. Again, here's a reminder final payments due soon. And we, again, we make it red, action required below. Hey, you getting excited? You got any questions? All set. Boom. Share your trips with friends and family. That button lets them connect to their Facebook or Twitter and share their date, their trip details, not price, not cabin, but their itinerary and ship with their friends and family via social media or email. Again, remind them about insurance, prepare your passport, etc. We've been partnered with some third parties that offer discounts just to our customers, our agents' customers. Don't forget to check in online before they leave. It's very important. And if they're booked in this case with Royal Caribbean, it links to Royal Caribbean's book, um, pre-registration page, online check-in. So again, we're connecting, it's very relevant information. If they haven't downloaded the app, we're gonna remind them to download our app because they can track their trip on there, they can post pictures from their trip on through the app, et cetera. Again, protect your passport, remind them again there. 
get prepared. You're about to leave soon. You know, don't forget, there's tours and activities you can buy. Uh, enhance your stay. You can book some excursions. Um, share your trip again, whatever. So again, we're reminding them it's not obnoxious. Again, we're talking about a year out from touch point. 10-day countdown to the trip. You're getting close. We even remind them before you go, hey, just don't forget to place a hold on your mail and newspaper delivery. Let your credit card companies know that you'll be traveling. Little things like that. Bon voyage, you're leaving. And then we tell them, hot tip, book on board and save. So don't forget to book on board. And this more info links directly to that supplier's book on board benefit. So again, if it was a Royal Caribbean example, it would link to a page on, on our agent site that talks about um, what the benefits are to booking on board with Royal Caribbean. Again, some special discounts that we offer in different ports of call. They can print out coupons right from there or save them to their phone and show them to the store if that's an applicable, if that's an available option. While they're on board, we remind them to book on board. So another great feature is that, hey, I know you're checking your email. I hope you're enjoying it. While you're on, book it because they're going to give you some great deals. And here's more information on what they give you. And I'll contact you or you contact me when you get back and we'll finalize your next cruise. And then welcome home. And did you like your cruise? And again, that's great feedback if they say yes. Can't wait to sail again. It's a perfect invitation for you to call them. And even if they say no, you still, it says, but I'm interested in learning more about other offers, et cetera. So again, they're still giving you an invitation to call them. Um, so the one we've most recently asked, added again was the book on board, which we've seen our numbers as a company, as an entire group. So just, just talking to suppliers, our book on board percentages are higher than most other agencies out there because, again, we're reminding them before, during, and then even after, we also will ask them, did you book on board? So at least you can remember to get the booking in case some suppliers, the, the emails don't come through, et cetera. So when I talked earlier about sending the right message to the right person at the right time with the right frequency, because you, you don't want to overdo it either and turn somebody off, right? So something we recently announced and launched here it's called CP Insights. And CP Insights, and this is going to get complicated, we're going to use cohort, cohorted data from a, from a financial institution. And really what a cohort is is a group of people who have something in common, whether it be age or social class or demographics. They have something in common. And we're going to talk specifically, specifically about something in common economically, how their spending habits are. You know, I love this because even though a cat has four legs, and this poor little dog here says, well, I have four legs, therefore I'm a cat. Well, that's not true. We can't call everyone a cat or a dog. Anyone who knows me knows I had to make the cat reference here. Um, we can't, it's not every four-legged animal is a cat, um, as much as I seem to think it is. Um, so we've, we've launched a program called Smart Select a couple of years ago, and this is a, a eye chart of a screen. But what I wanted to show you is what we do here on the corporate side is we set up criteria. And let's say we have a luxury mailer coming out. We create the campaign name and touch point name, and then we'll look at when the file is transferred, blah, 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 whatever, the booking date. But we'll look at are they these kind of customers that I want to pull from the database or those kind of customers? What's their minimum age, maximum age? What's fair? I want them to at least to spend $6,000 per person. Maybe this mailing has to be very targeted because the supplier is only giving us X amount of dollars. What it does then, it goes into each of our agent's databases and says, based on this criteria for this upcoming mailing, these are your perfect 100 customers for this mailing. And that's pretty cool. What we've now added to it is the economic cohort, where when you look at the cohort's, cord, sorry, cohort's code in the middle, it's telling us there what's their propensity to buy certain things. So again, I'm not going to get into too much detail here, but aside from what we know about them, that they've sailed with us before or bought travel with us before, we're also going to add this third-party code that tells us, based on economic information from banks, credit cards, everything else, it appends a number, which means what their spending habits are. So, for example, if someone is an empty nester with uh, no credit card uh, balances, it pretty much gives it a code. You don't know what their credit card balance is. We're not doing anything uh, finding out personal information. We're just finding out what their code is. So see, that's a perfect person for this type of mailing and a lot of suppliers give us that data. So it makes our agents marketing that much, that much more targeted and finite to make sure they're adding more commissions to, to their, I mean, more commas to their commission. So didn't want to get too, too detailed with that. One of the things I mentioned at the beginning is what, are, what do you offer that your competitor can't offer? And we like to definitely set our agents apart from the competition. Some of it is with either offers or tools 
or making information easier for them to get to. So for example, we actually have resources on staff that will actually enter special sales from the cruise line. So all these emails that come in that I know you all get and we all file them in different ways, whatever, we're, we have somebody here manually entering a lot of them into a database so that if, when you get that call looking for a specific offer, you can actually look it up in a database and find out what is that offer. Oh, we have a group on that date that's a, a ship for credit. Or, you know, here's the T's and C's for this other offer that we have or whatever. All of them are entered, not just exclusive ones to us. Every offer that we see, we enter into the database to make it so much more easier for our agents to find an offer. Because I know what happens. We get an offer and we go, that's a great offer. And they file it somewhere and then you just forget about it because you've got too much going on. We get it. So we try to figure out ways to how do we make it easier for our agents to find things. So again, you can see here, it shows you even the, um, the backup file that we received from Celebrity about the wave offer. And there's the approved terms and conditions. So all of it is in one place versus you having to search through your email. It's a searchable database. Um, we've got programs that we, uh, we, we call one of them called CP Vacations, which are completely packaged vacations. And again, that's to make our agents more competitive. We have over 300 sailings this year where we have negotiated great rates for, let's say, a cruise, and then packaged a pre or post or both in a rental car, perhaps, and created a package offer that is a, a super great um, value that outprices the competition and makes us a lot more competitive. So again, we can give you more information if you call us about that. But again, it's great packaging and it's a program that continues to grow for us um, over the years just because it's so successful. So again, on these 322 sailings this year, we've got a major advantage in terms of a great package, great value, and often at a better um, uh, value than what the cruise line itself is offering. Um, my trips, I mentioned that on, on board, oh, sorry, on each agent's website. Again, it's a great way for them to access their the information about the port or the weather, to book their excursions, to share their trips via social with their friends and family, to view upcoming trips or see their last trips. As most of you know, your customers love to know that they're on their 67th cruise or whatever it is. Um, in there, it'll show a history of all the cruises and travel they've booked with you. Now guys, Remember, if they booked it with you, it's in there, and they might say, but I want all of my history. Well, then that's an incentive for them to continue to book through you. So that, that information builds up, and they can purchase travel insurance right from there. Cruise Finders Mobile, I'm gonna to talk to you about two different apps. This is a consumer app. So all of our agents have their own app that is there for their agents to download, and it connects them further. And again, from that app, you can see here, this is a test site, but it has a fake travel agent there, Whatever the, uh, the campaign, marketing campaign was going on at the time that they opened up this app at that moment, it's gonna show on there as well. Their social feed is on here. You can see the Facebook uh, logo and a Twitter logo. If they connect the app to their Facebook and Twitter um, profiles, it'll have their feed there. So there's always something new on the app as well. It tells you about the agent, you can read about it, you can set up your hours and your phone number. If you have a question, you can click there. Um, you can see here it has a new functionality where it's slide out menus. Um, they can look at their My Trips right in there to see what trips they've done before or that there's, you know, 89 days till the, till the next cruise uh, or any notifications because maybe the agent is trying to notify them of something or their photo albums and they're all organized by trip, which is really cool. Um, it has a slide out menu on the bottom. So again, super gooey interface, uh, really nice app. And again, this looks like it's you, the franchise owner, having your own um, travel app and it keeps your customer always connected to you. Um, there's recommended specials based on what they've purchased before, so it uses some background algorithms and int intelligence, and it pitches up some other promotions that might be there. You can keep your travel um, insurance brochure on there, the, the client can. So again, super resourceful app. It's not just to look at weather somewhere or whatever, and a lot of features within it. eRes Mobile is our other app. This is where you, the, the franchise owner, can actually run your business from this app. So it's available right from your smartphone, from anywhere, all within the app. Um, you can do live chat. And again, I know live chat scares people because gosh, I'm busy, what if they chat and I'm on the phone with somebody? You can actually put do not disturb. It won't tell them you wrote do not disturb. It won't show you available via chat, okay? So, but if you are available, and let's say in this case, you can see behind the screen here, it says, Denise Smith, how much are luggage fees? It's a simple answer maybe you can cut and paste or do. 
So super interactive. Um, we're getting great responses from that as well. And yes, now with the Apple Watch, uh, it brings complexity there too, but you can do it from anywhere. Your smartphone, your smart watch, your smart anywhere. So in this case, you can see a chat notification came in and the agent's able to answer it right from there. So, or you can quickly glance even to see who's on your website. It'll tell you who's visiting your website. Again, we just feel that knowledge is power and if our agents know what's happening, what, what engagement level their client is, they can respond accordingly. You know, we did a whole CP Savvy um, um, function at convention to an analysis of best practices and we had so many people just say that they were converting chat conversations into sales. And actually, interesting, link, uh, interesting one, within the first month of us turning on chat, we had somebody who closed a $17,000 sale 100% over chat. Actually, the client was almost willing to even give the credit card until we told them we can't do that. Um, but it was a real client. It wasn't someone in some other country trying to scam. Um, it was a client that just saw the chat feature and said, oh, I trust this agent. I've worked with her for years. Saw chat and did the whole, the whole transaction via chat. So super cool stuff. And this goes without saying, because I just showed it to you on a phone. But yes, obviously, it works great on tablets as well our whole back end. So this is an agent can run their business right from their tablet, as you can see in this picture, um, from seeing their calendar of payments due or birthdays to most recent reservations, et cetera. Everything's right there. Cruise sheets um, are tools that we created that are pretty much just virtual um, brochures, all HTML. So agent can enter as much as they want. If they want to compare cruise lines just based on dates, uh, if they want to show um, different itineraries they can, but let's say they just want to do even do one, um, they can create a client cruise sheet which has information about that one ship, the itinerary, about the ship, et cetera, the price per person. Um, if they want a quick quote on that, it'll actually build a live quote. Um, but this is what a client, this is what a cruise sheet would look like um, here, and that's where you see the golden princess and it has a date, but you click on itinerary and it bounces in down here itinerary. This agent only quoted two in Ocean View um, OC and an OW. And if they want to quote more categories, they can. But imagine pitching a group this way. It's a great way to go, here's the five categories you guys chose, or whatever. Um, you can change the names of the category to say, you know, the managers or the directors category, because maybe it's an incentive group. So this is a super great interactive tool that just takes a few data entry points, all written, all comes from a database, and creates a beautiful sheet. I'm just going through some of our tools just to help you hit on what we're doing to hit those key trends at the beginning and how we're helping our agents build their commissions um, and again, add more commas to those commissions. When we look at social, I mentioned how important it is. Our CP social program um, has had a tremendous uptake and we have a basic program, it's free, and it includes that we post content for our agents you know, up to three times a week. Um, they can have, we, we actually create additional content that they can use unlimited whenever they want. Um, they can cut paste it or schedule it to post next Thursday if they want to. Um, let's say that they want to opt out of certain posts. Some people didn't want to have a Mother's Day post because they were scared of, you know, what if someone's mother has passed away or ill or it's their best friend or whatever. Um, they can opt out of a certain post. Um, we can actually, if we have a big promotion coming up, we can actually schedule to take over the cover um, uh, uh, photo on the top of your Facebook business page. And then we have a, for, for CP for pros that want to do extra stuff on social media, there's an upgrade that's optional. Again, you, from within here, there's a portal that you can connect up to 20 different social profiles. You can schedule posts on a calendar. You can see all the stuff that it does. So we're very much want to support and teach um, social media, and I'll show you a little bit about teaching in a minute. Uh, actually, it's coming up right next. And um, but just to make sure everyone's on top of their social game because it's, it's the place to be to really grow your businesses. So we talk about knowledge and and are you feeding yourself? And obviously, those of you on this call right now are spending the time on yourself to learn about what's happening out there. And that's hats off to you to, that you're doing that. So, you know, are you? Like we, for example, oopsie, sorry. We, for example, do um, in-person in training when you first come on board. We just feel it's very important to be in-person, live, learning from the pros. Well, you know, Michelle Fee, our CEO and co-founder, our founder, she teaches a class on marketing, I teach about groups. I mean, all the subject matter experts in the office teach about those things that we've been doing forever. Um, we do throughout the year, regional meetings and boot camps, I mean, hands-on, sometimes technical boot camps. Um, we're doing a luxury uh, forum later this year. 
you know, just a lot of making sure we're getting out around the country to, to talk to our agents and teach more about what they need to do to run their business. We do our convention every year. We do an online uh, training platform, which is called Cruisitude Academy. Again, it's available anytime, anywhere, on any device, which is important. We know we know how mobile this business is. So it started off a couple months ago, this version. We've upgraded majorly in the last few months with over 80 academic courses, 83 vendor webinars, and over 700 hours of training. But the most important thing you see there is that we've made sure that the average time is 16 minutes per course. We want to make sure it's sweet. You know, down to the point, because we know you guys are busy and working from home, so that was an important piece for us. And then if you see there, our top courses just in the last couple of months are social media, for obvious reasons, uh, land and tour, the luxury focus series has, has gotten a lot of attention, and groups in general, because I teach groups, and I always say you can learn something about groups every day. <clears throat> our top producers trip, I mentioned I just got back from the Galapagos. Here are some pictures, which I didn't know someone stole from my Facebook page, because I haven't put them up yet. Um, but uh, it, it's a great way, again, for us. Again, this is Michelle and myself, somewhere on here with a do-rag on my head. Um, is We're bonding with our top agents to make sure that they've got what they need. We're hearing from them what the needs are of the organization. A lot of them are on our advisory board. And we're getting the feedback that we need to grow our, to, to help you all grow your businesses and have a little fun, too. You know, we don't believe in an ivory tower. Michelle and I are accessible to everybody. You know, we didn't bring a handler with, with us on this trip or someone to keep people away from us or whatever, and I'm not saying anyone else does, but we want to be there with them experiencing every little bit of it. Um, Michelle looks a little scared there because she's wearing a life vest, but that was just for the photo. Um, so I even asked her where she got that from. Um, but anyway, so, and yes, we had to wear them in this photo while we're on the, on the Zodiac. Um, but a great experience, and again, it's great to spend time with, with our top producers. And that leads me to, you know, are you part of a family that supports, if you're not part of an organization, and I'm not saying cruise planners, but join somebody that's there to support you and give you the tools that help you build your business. Try not to go it alone, because I know there's pride in, in having your own, own name and doing it alone or whatever, but there's also comes with that, the learning part and the headaches and not being able to get to your customers because you're having to worry too much about creating marketing or running to Kinko's or doing all these different things. So I just say, if it's not us, look to definitely join somebody. And there's a lot of great organizations. I can never even talk poorly about any of them. We've got some amazing competitors out there. Talk to all of us. Kick the tires, look under the hood, and check it out. Um, you know, we, we're a little bit different. You know, you may have heard we have Cruisitude, which is a word that we made up, and it's part of our campaign. It's registered to us. But you can see it's not anything other than your manner, your disposition, you know, how you feel about travel, whether it's cruise, land, or tour, your quality of life, you know, what do you like to do, your state of mind, you know, think to yourself, what is your cruise? What does that mean to you? And it often is thought-provoking, and that's what we want people to do is talk about travel. So we are definitely the company, the only company with cruise because it's our word. <laughs> Um, spend less time marketing and spend more time making bookings. And I think that's probably the theme of what we do here at our corporate office. We make sure that, you know, A, from the office, we don't sell travel. So 100% of our efforts are to help our franchisees sell more, whether it be by creating more tools or negotiating better offers or putting the marketing in front of their customers. That's our mission for them. So with that, there's even another tool that we launched this year. It's CTV, and I won't bore you with a lot of details. What we've done is we've built a system that – identifies, and creates this little doohickey here, it will identify um, the best clients for that. So this, this, this new icon will appear, and based on the sailing that you're looking at, it's actually gonna identify what the, best, what the average age and fare that that sailing has sold for in the last few years. And again, without giving away trade secrets and stuff here, it'll then identify the rates that would be a great rate based on the, the past. You can say, you know what, this is a really great rate right now that we're offering right now, because in the past, the sailing has sold for a lot more. Then, it not only does that, it's going to identify within that agent who their best clients are for that offer. And from there, they can create, create an e-card, right to Holly in this case, and say, hey, Holly, I just found this great rate that I know you were interested in this kind of sailing. I thought of you with this. And it creates a, a really visual, great presentation to them. Again, without going through all the details, just if you want to know what, more about that, you can call us and we'd be happy to go over it with you um, in as much as we can. Um, and then, you know, without getting into too much, I know we need to kind of wrap this up soon. So we've won a lot of awards, so don't just take it from me, which I, I obviously drink the Kool-Aid. Actually, I, I say I make the Kool-Aid around here. 
um, our, our suppliers are saying it too. So we won a lot of awards. I'm going to try to play a quick video. If it works, if not, I'll just go right over it. Oh. I guess it decided to turn itself off. Oh, there it goes. And, you know, yes, we're proud of our awards because we work really hard for them and we want to make sure, again, we're not just putting stuff out just to have tools out there. Um, we want to put tools out there that are good for our agents to, to, to do more and sell more. So those awards don't come just by putting out tools. It, it comes because of the fact that not only are we good partners, but we are the sales are coming in. Um, we're on pretty much every advisory board in, out there. I'm, we've probably even missed a few in this. Uh, so we have a voice in the industry on behalf of our agents. You know, our relationship with Amex, which I haven't talked about, again, we're always on the top of their leadership team. Michelle, Fee, my business partner, has been on their advisory board uh, since we first joined Amex uh, about 10, 12 years ago. So we're always part of that rep excellence, and it's very important to us. What does Amex in the blue box mean to us? Um, it's on every direct mail. Our full sales program is our direct mail program, and the weekly travel deals. Everything has cruise planners and the Amex logo. Our magazine, all of them have the CP and the Amex logo. So everything has it on there on behalf of the agents. Um, our client cruise sheets, et cetera, any kind of postcard. Um, everything that we do has the Cruise Finders Amex logo, even our merchandise. So when you see Cruise Finders walking out there, for the most part, it will have the Amex logo, unless for some reason it didn't fit or something. Um, so again, our agents get to take advantage of that. And obviously, what does that mean? You know, there's, there's, there's a lot of advantages. I'm just going to go through three right now before I close. Obviously, the brand recognition is instant credibility. People see Amex. They know who it is. Um, it's one of the most recognized brands out there. Um, there's programs that does not require an Amex uh, card. So there's special offers. They don't require a special card, uh, an Amex card. It's just being part of booking through us because we're Amex. Um, they have cruise group inventory as well and proprietary air car hotel booking tools that we have access to as part of being Amex. There are some programs that do require an Amex card, like lodging programs and the cruise privileges program um, or destination family. So Amex is out there negotiating in addition to ours. So you get double dip of cruise planners offerings and Amex offerings as well. So that's just the top three. Um, and pay with points, I can't not say it. Clients can actually redeem their Amex points through a cruise planner agent because they're part of Amex. And clients can buy things like airfare, cruises, tours, et cetera. So another great benefit um, to cruise planners and, and Amex in general. Um, so again, with the logo, you know, we don't have a, a, a stodgy mission statement. We have a vision statement to create cool stuff, have fun, deliver great service. We want you to make money, and we want to change the travel world in a lot of different ways, whether it be with technology or with giving back. You know, over the last four years, we've raised more than $1.2 million for charities, whether it be locally or nationally. So that's important to us as well to make sure we're giving back. Um, so we, we welcome the opportunity to welcome you to our family to find out more about us and how you can add commas to your commissions. Um, on here, I'm going to have, here's our phone number and our website. So we welcome you to please take the time to call us if you want to find out more. Uh, we have a team of franchise business development specialists here that can answer any questions for you, um, whatever you need, any specific questions. Uh, or find out more about the opportunity or talk specifically about what more we offer in terms of our packages. Um, with that, Sandy, if you're on the call, we can do our um, giveaway. Okay. Thank you so much, Vicki. That was really phenomenal information. Very, very useful. Um, we have time for a question or two. And um, uh, one of our agents wants to know about the pricing that's shown is there an option to add service fees or is this pricing fixed? And if you can change it to add service fee, does it show as a service fee? So no, for cruises, you cannot add service fees with a system. So you can either turn off live pricing or, or uh, you know, add a disclaimer that says service fees are additional or something like that. Okay. Um, okay, well, 
to our agents out there, if you think of a question after the webinar is over, um, on the screen right now, Vicki has left the phone number and the website uh, for your um, follow-up questions. So please uh, do follow up and, um, and get all your questions answered about this wonderful um, uh, organization and their tools that they have created just for you. So let's get to the prize giveaway and here's how it's going to work. Vicki and Cruise Planners have very generously provided a $50 American Express gift card. Um, and what we're going to do is that Vicki's going to ask a question about something that she talked about during this webinar. Hope you've been paying attention. Uh, and the first correct answer I see come across my screen will be the winner. We will pass your information along to Vicki and the Cruise Planners team, and they will get in touch with the winner to let you know how to redeem the card. Uh, the only thing you need to remember is that Vicki has to read the entire question before you can answer. So if you can telegraph what the question is and you answer it before she's actually finished um, asking it, your answer won't be considered. You have to be uh, very quick on the draw, but after Vicki has finished her question. So if you're all ready, Vicki, go ahead with the question. Although you might get extra brownie points if you just put the answer CP green, it really won't count, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> so in the progression of the sale, guys, here we go. In the progression of the sale, which point of contact did I say was the lowest hanging fruit? Again, in the progression of the sale, which point of contact is the lowest hanging fruit? Okay, we have a winner. All right, that was quick. Hold on just one second. And the correct answer was uh, point of contact number four. And the first yep. correct answer I saw on my screen belonged to Amber Whitley. So Amber, congratulations. You are the winner of the uh, $50 guest, um, gift card, and we will pass your information along to Vicki and the team. Um, our host today has been Cruise Planners, and our wonderful speaker has been Vicki Garcia, Chief Operating Officer and co-owner of Cruise Planners. Vicki, thank you so much. This was really wonderful. Thank you, Sandy, so much, and congratulations, Amber, and we will be in touch with you on how to redeem that. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. And I'll add my thanks to our agents. Thank you so much for joining us today. I know you all have busy days, and this is uh, um, really appreciated. So enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.